excited. I'm ready for this to happen. <laughs> We're super excited. Super, super excited. <laughs> I curled it for the last time today, brushed it for the last time, I think last night. So it's ready to go. <laughs> I'm amazed at how many people are here. This is just phenomenal. This just shows, you know, the go first support we have as athletes and our community has just been wonderful for this whole thing. But we still had my teammates are supporting me 110% and they're all here today scattered videotaping and they'll be on Facebook and every Twitter tweeting about their ball teammates. So it feels great. It's soft and fuzzy and hopefully looks pretty good. I won't have to spend time brushing my hair before the game and it'll speed up the getting ready process. It won't hit me in the face anymore. I won't get sweaty from it. So lots of lots of pros. <laughs> I think um, knowing Anissa was doing this as well, she initiated this whole fundraiser. Well, after Connor had come to her, but then you know, we visited the hospital, the Amplots Hospital, where this money is going to. And I sat down and talked to a boy, he was 21, he was my age, and he was going through leukemia treatment. He's been doing a blood transfusion, and he's been in the hospital for months and months, and this is his second bout with leukemia. And just talking to him and, and realizing that he's fighting this battle, fighting cancer every single day. And, you know, I'm just worrying about getting to school on time and practice, and, you know, whether or not I'm going to be a little cold when I'm walking outside, you know. That just put things in perspective and just encouraged me more and more. This is just a great fundraiser. I'm so happy that we raised the money. So.